Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. Now in the Facebook group Affinity Photo, Ron L. Dutcher has placed this image here and with his description he's got about how he has used the gradient tool to add a vignette to his pictures and yeah, it's basically all the information is here but a bit further down Andrew Daniels has asked whether there could possibly be a video for this to help explain it so I thought I would do this to help Andrew Daniel out so I haven't obviously haven't got access to the same picture so I'm going to use this one which I got from Pixabay now obviously there are many ways to do a vignette I mean, one being comes to filters menu, colors, and then vignette. Now, from that vignette filter, you can add a fil uh, the vignette, but it basically sort of starts from the center of the image and works out, and you have no real way of moving it around to where you want it. You can also draw a, a circle shape, place it where you want, and then sort of change blend modes and things like that. But I want to sort of copy the same process that was done um, in that Facebook group and to do this we need to add a new fill layer not just like not just from down here but come up to layer and new fill layer now why we're going to do this rather than just adding a new layer from here and filling it with white is that adding a new fill layer it starts with the gradient tool already sort of attached and you can see the cursor has changed to the gradient tool cursor and also you can come back to this layer and re-edit the gradient however you want because you have used the fill layer option rather than a new layer option so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of this image just to a starting point and when I found it I'll hold down the shift key and click and drag to come outside of the image and this goes from white to grey and I'm going to change this to black so I'll just double click up here change this down to black and close that and then for the type I want to change this to radial so it now sort of radiates and this will give you that vignette effect but much like the filter it is sort of based in the center of the image but this is the beauty of doing it this way is that you can move it but first we need to make it more visible the image underneath and to do that we change this to the multiply blend mode and then it's just a case of putting the cursor over the end that you want and as we want this lady's face to be the center of the vignette we put that there and then you've got this sort of slider handle in the middle, middle and you can make the vignette bigger or smaller to however you want and of course you can always move this inwards or outwards so you can and you, know, you can do it from an angle and have more of a vignette on one corner than the other but let me make this straight again now also you can also get vignettes where the outside is white now using you know, the same method here if I come up here to reverse gradient and click on that so it's black in the center and white on the outside all I've got to do then is change the blend mode from multiply to screen so again you can bring this in bring that out and do it whichever way you want so I'll come off that layer so you, you don't have the gradient line on there anymore and even if I come off that tool or whatever and then come back to this layer and I'll go back to the gradient tool you can re-edit it which you can't do if you've gone with the new layer and then gradient option 
you can always re-edit it with the option that you get with new fill layer so that's basically it you can either have it with a white vignette or the black vignette and just use the gradient and move the nodes around to how and where you want them and what intensity you want them and you can even lower the opacity if you just want a sort of a milder effect sort of give it that more hazy look and even bring this back to about there maybe so it's more in so using opacity and using the movement and the blend modes you can get different vignette looks so that is basically it thank you for watching and goodbye